149,000 posts, all of them inspired by the way Cameron Haynes lives his life. In his world, there are no days off. Days where you are not getting better are days wasted. The hammering never ends, and the inner bitch never has a chance. Many people talk this kind of talk. In fact, pretending you're a savage is disgustingly common. Many of these posers will post motivational quotes on social media and even give out unsolicited advice on how to chase your dreams and follow your goals. But my guess is that if you could randomly peer into their lives, you would probably catch most of these motherfuckers eating snacks and checking their posts for likes. One of my favorite Cam Haynes quotes is, nobody cares, work harder. It's such a perfect statement for this day and age, when grown men are using beauty filters on their Instagram pictures and everyone is pretending they're exceptional. We live in a world today where it's never been easier to be full of shit. But on the flip side, the beauty of this time is that when you come across someone who's truly, undeniably smashing life, you appreciate it like a starving man being served up a juicy elk steak. I'm going to describe some of the things he does, and the list is so preposterous that it seems like bullshit. He regularly runs a marathon a day. I read once that if you run a marathon, it takes your body six months to fully recover. I don't know who wrote that, but someone needs to tell that silly bitch there's a guy in Oregon with a full-time job with the Department of Water and Power who runs multiple marathons every week. Sometimes he'll get up at 3 a.m. and run a full marathon before work. Then he'll come home from working eight hours, practice archery, lift weights, and do it all over again the next morning. He's run multiple 100-mile races and several over 200 miles. These require days and days of running without rest. Tune into his Instagram a few days after he's back from one of these self-imposed, soul-crushing torture sessions and you will see him with a big smile on his face, running again or hitting the weights. Now, if you told me 10 years ago that there was a guy out there doing all this while holding down a full-time job and a family, I would have looked at you the same way I'd look at someone who tells me their best friend is Bigfoot. Maybe I would have believed there's someone out there who can do all this, but I would have assumed there's some science project being constantly fed performance-enhancing drugs by a team of doctors monitoring his body around the clock to make sure he doesn't drop dead from overexertion. But if you had told me that all this is being done by some smiling bow hunter with a 40-hour-a-week job, I'd have told you to get the fuck out of here with that nonsense. It doesn't seem possible, but yet it's a fact. And what's perhaps even more impressive is that while he's doing all these things, he's also managed to become the best bow hunter on earth. You see, that's where this whole Cameron Haynes story gets even more unusual. His obsession with physical performance is purely to ensure that he is at his best for his real passion, bow hunting elk in the mountains. Hunting for wild elk in the mountains with a bow is an incredibly difficult thing to be successful at. The terrain is rugged, and the elk have senses honed to a razor's edge by millions of years of evolution. It requires you to get inside of a hundred yards, undetected, on an animal that has been avoiding mountain lions, bears, and wolves for its entire life, and then, under extreme pressure, to release a perfect arrow into the animal's vitals. Because of all these factors, success rates for archery elk hunting are quite low. The average is somewhere below 10%. Even elite hunters will often come home empty-handed. Cameron Haynes, on the other hand, has been successful on every single archery hunt he's been on over the last 10 years. It's almost impossible to overemphasize how extraordinary that is. His insane dedication to fitness and his maniacal pursuit of perfection in the mountains have made him the boogeyman for mountain elk and an incredible inspiration to fellow...